<laughs> oh. Icky. What is up, gangsters? My name is BNC, and today we are trying Baloo. For those who don't know, Baloo is a fertilized duck egg. This is Filipino drinking food. There's a few other places that eat it, but it's well known in the Philippines for having some beer. This isn't beer. This is whatever pretend liquid you want to call it. But essentially, you'd go drink a beer. This is the street food that's out there. And I found it here in Calgary for $2 an egg, which, if I'm honest, not that expensive. It is a duck egg, it's been fertilized. I don't know how many days, but they're usually two to three weeks. There are feathers, there are bones. The only thing you can't eat, apparently, is the beak. So, Let's get cracking. It's mostly just the sound of the porcelain that's bothering me right now. I couldn't find a proper egg service. So, oh, there's a film. I don't know if you eat the film or not, but I'm, I'm not gonna eat the film. Oh, and there's liquid. I'm not going to eat the liquid. I... It kind of smells like egg. Looks like egg with a bunch of hair on it. I'm going to go get a bowl. I'm just replating this to make it easier to see. I'm telling myself. Oh. Oh, that membrane. Icky. And it like just, there's just feathers. There's just feathers. Let's try and not have as many feathers. Get some of this membrane off. Oh, I wasn't this nervous eating penis, if I'm honest. I'm a bit nervous. It looks like there's a big vein going through it. The yolk part looks like it's possessed by demons. And the white part looks, um, uh, rotten. I made this. I was actually supposed to do this yesterday. This is cold because I can go through with it. But I am still really, really nervous about doing this. Oh, it's slippery. There's almost beautiful striations and then like a veiny bit going through it. I, it's kind of moist, but at least the membrane's gone. It doesn't smell bad. This smells fantastic. It smells like chili. Chili and vinegar. This is going to make everything okay. I'm probably gonna share this with a coworker. This is what I do with my weekends. <laughs> oh man. All right. Happy Halloween, kids. Okay, so wait for it. If you eat hot dogs, shut up. Shut your goddamn mouth. This is actually really good. This complements this extremely well. Not for the right reasons. This is duck meat. Like you can see this here is duck meat. This is yolk. And the yolk is is what what's feeding the growing embryo. The texture of this is helping the texture of this. There's more happening in the texture of this than there is here. The flavor Ooh, it tastes like duck. Uh, I like duck quite a bit. It's kind of like a buttery confit duck. A lot of people have given this, I don't know, some negative view or some negative press. Like it, it, 
it really shouldn't be. This is actually really, really good that I was so scared of this, uh, like, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> I can't tell you how enjoyable this is. Like, the bright poppy flavors here are complementing the, the richness of the duck and, and the richness of the egg as well. It's really something special. <laughs> It, it really deserves a lot more respect than it gets. Take that, the rest of the world. It's firmer than an egg. Mind you, this did cool down overnight. There are some more chewy bits, but it's no less chewy than a very small piece of cartilage. It's very easy to chew, and I have fairly sensitive teeth. Oh dear. I wish I would have filmed this. That's my only regret. This is fantastic. This has made this experience very, very easy. It doesn't mask all the flavors, but I've got nothing as far as entertainment value for this video. It was delicious, pretty easy to eat. I thought the chewing would be a lot more difficult. It was actually fairly easy. And uh, this was an excellent co uh, compliment to it. There's not gonna be a whole lot of like edgy, you know, gagging or anything. Like it, it was good. This is not the edgy food that people make it out to be. I've seen many, many people go up against this and be like, Ugh, and like, you know, ham it up. It's like when I see people try tripe. You know, I love tripe. Tripe, is, it's, it's got a fun texture. It tastes like nothing if you cook it properly. Apparently, if you don't clean a cow's stomach properly, oh, well, it's gonna taste bad. Yeah, that's dumb. That's your own fault. You know, sausage would taste like sh <laughs> you didn't clean the shit out of the intestines. You know, all I did was take the membrane off, took the shell off. Other than that, I added this, and this really only complemented it because it was kind of like a fatty confit duck. If you're eating duck breast or duck liver, this is really just a very different and exciting way of eating duck. I'm not sure that this would be as good in a chicken form or a quail form. This is pretty early in the days because I did not get a beak or anything in there. I chewed through everything and I swallowed everything other than the outside membrane. This video is really long of me explaining why I enjoyed something that was enjoyed by millions of people. Yeah, just another reason to not judge food. We don't have to be eating so high on the hog. Quit judging food. Stop it. Happy Halloween. Take a look at this video up here. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably uh, heart tacos. I did that. It's fantastic. One of my favorite dishes. Go watch it. Peace. It, it, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, that's... Oh. Oh, my hand's dirty. Doubt that was usable, sorry.